Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you unable to manually configure the date and time because the set automatically toggle appears to be permanently enabled and cannot be turned off? In this video, I will show you how to fix this issue so that you may manually set the date and time on your iPhone. Let's go. When you encounter this type of situation, there are available configurations which you can set up directly in the settings of your iPhone. First, make sure to disable the location services. Open the Settings app, go to Privacy and Security, and choose Location Services. Then toggle off Location Services. You can enable this feature later on whenever you require location services. But for now, let's keep this disabled in order to make the date and time configuration available. Next, check your screen time settings. Perhaps the reason why the toggle is grayed out is because you've got some restrictions set under screen time. Since determining which restriction caused the problem can be quite a hassle, it is better to just disable the configuration. To do this, go back to the Settings main menu. Locate Screen Time and navigate to Content and Privacy Restrictions. Here, make sure to switch off the Content and Privacy Restrictions toggle. Upon disabling the restriction, you can restart your iPhone and then check if you can now set the date and time manually. If that doesn't work, you can also just switch off Screen Time completely as an alternative. Go back to the Screen Time Settings page, scroll to the bottom, and then press Turn Off Screen Time to disable all restrictions that have been set. Please note that you will most likely be prompted for the screen time passcode, which in most cases differs from the code used to unlock your iPhone. After making all those changes on your settings, you can also try to force restart your device. This approach is very simple, but it frequently fixes any minor software glitches on your iPhone. For iPhone 8 or newer models, quickly press and release the volume up and volume down buttons respectively. Then press and hold the side button and release it when the Apple logo appears. If you're using an older iPhone model, you can refer at the tag in the top right corner or find the link to the Apple support page in the description below to know how to force restart your device properly. When your iPhone reboots, go to settings and check if you can now manually set the date and time. Unfortunately, if you're on the last step and still the problem remains unsolved, your final resort is to reset the settings of your iPhone. In order to do this, navigate to General under Settings and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone. Choose Reset, tap on Reset All Settings, and then provide your iPhone passcode when prompted. This will revert all the customizations you've set in your settings thus eliminating anything that could have caused the error with the date and time configurations. But don't worry, this reset should not cause you any data loss. Most probably, the problem should now be resolved after resetting. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!